Execution Instruments Welcome to the most common path of a P2P example, viewed in an execution instrument. As we can see, it consists of six process steps, starting with creating a purchase requisition item and ending with clearing the invoice. Not every case follows this most common path, though. A quite common issue in P2P is a price change after a purchase order has already been sent. Manual work while changing the order results in unnecessary cost for the company. Using the Variant Explorer, you can see that this is already the third most common variant in the example we're looking at. To connect the dots between the Variant Explorer and what you learned in the fundamentals on process mining, exploring your process in such a way is only possible due to the digital footprints that you retrieved from your source systems. The visualization in the Variant Explorer is basically structuring and sorting all digital footprints gathered through your data creating a digital twin of your organization. But let's get back to our undesired price change activities and how we can inspect affected cases in more detail. We can filter on those cases by clicking the activity and selecting the appropriate option. Zooming out, we find that more than 152,000 purchase order items, making up 14% of the entire P2P cases, include at least one price change, after selecting these cases, we can see that they have a net order value of 482 million euros. All right, we've already identified an undesired activity and its details solely from inspecting the process using the Variant Explorer. But you probably don't want to manually go through more than 600 process variants, right? So how can we speed up the task of finding your biggest execution gaps and saving potentials with only a few clicks? In most cases, you already know what your ideal to-be process should look like. It's likely the most common path we saw in the beginning, with perhaps a few variations for necessary exceptions. You might, for example, have BPMN models from previous process mapping exercises or consulting engagements that reflect your to-be process. Even if you haven't defined your target yet, the Salonis Conformance Checker might be of great help for you. It automatically compares your as-is process to your to-be process. You can design a standard process from scratch in Salonis, select an existing BPN model from the Salonis process repository, or even mine an ideal process directly from the data. In our example, the conformance checker identifies that 63% of all cases already conform to our to-be process model. Furthermore, you can retrieve the number of conformance violations as well as the conformance trend over time. Process violations are automatically flagged by Salonis. We've already discovered this undesired activity of changing a price when we used the Variant Explorer. The conformance checker provides us with a whole list of the violations that affect our 2B process and hence require action and attention. Salonis can use machine learning to conduct an automated root cause analysis that identifies correlations between a selected conformance violation and associated metadata of the corresponding purchase order items. Metadata can be a vendor name, a material group, or a specific plant, just to name a few. In this case, the machine learning components integrated into Salonis identify one particular vendor, Umbrella Corporation as a possible root cause of frequent price changes. Let's introduce one more capability of execution instruments, process benchmarking. In process benchmarking, you can analyze processes side by side based on your most important aspects, such as teams, products, time periods, or countries. For our vendor IDES, let's benchmark the purchasing process for its divisions in Germany, and in the US. In this example, we're interested in the automation rate of both divisions and how they compare to each other. Activities highlighted in green are highly automated, while those highlighted in red are still mainly manual. Due to these color codes, 
we get an idea about the division's performances on the first glance. The P2P process at the American Division of IDES is much more automated than at the German division. In fact, Salonis tells us that the automation rate at IDES AG is 36% compared to 68% at IDES Retail Inc. Along with the automation rate, Salonis also shows us that the American division's throughput time is about six days faster on average than its German counterpart. It's highly likely that the faster throughput time is actually due to the higher automation rate identified at the American division. Last but not least, Salonis found considerably fewer process variants for the American division, which typically is a sign for more standardized processes. Therefore, it might be worthwhile to have a thorough look at IDES Retail Inc.'s processes to derive best practices that can be applied to IDES AG.